We're coming to the end of another violent weekend here in Baltimore. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ava Joy Burnett. And I'm Max McGee. Four people shot and killed, including a former Loyola basketball player, Jailed Brown. WJZ's Live Tonight, Kelsey Kushner has reaction from Brown's friends and a call to action from the mayor. Kelsey. Well, friends and family members of Gerald Brown say that he was a great basketball player. He was known for his sense of humor. Now he's just another victim to the violence in the city. Known for his sense of humor and love for basketball, 34-year-old former Loyola basketball player Gerald Brown was shot and killed Friday night on the 3700 block of West Forest Park Avenue. The former player led an undefeated team at Frederick Douglass High School and played basketball at Providence and Loyola University, Maryland. Mayor Jack Young calling it a heinous crime. I take it personal when anybody is killed in the city of Baltimore. We don't want to see anyone killed. And I wish those who are committing these heinous Kenya's crime will just stop. Brown is the second local star athlete turned victim of city gun violence. In May, former University of Maryland football player David Mackle Jr. was fatally shot on Bradish Avenue. Those close to Brown showed support online. Dunbar High School coach Keith Booth tweeted out a picture with Brown, offering condolences to his family and calling it a sad day. Brown was just one of four people killed over the weekend. Baltimore police say they responded to three other homicides, one on Peach Street, another on North Stricker, and a double shooting on Baker Street, where a 25-year-old male was pronounced dead at the hospital. The mayor now doubling down on the idea for a new way to get out the aggression. Put the guns down and put gloves on as a means to settle your difference. Now, the Loyola University men's basketball team tweeted out a statement saying, in part, Gerald was a prominent member of our men's basketball team and was one of the top players in school history. They go on to say anyone who knew him and his infectious smile will, be, will miss him. Reporting live here in Baltimore City, Kelsey Kushner for WJZ.